Hey guys, welcome back. So compound interest is the most powerful tool to build wealth. It's sometimes called the eighth wonder of the world. Unlike simple interest, compound interest allows you to earn interest on top of your interest. Yay! This allows your investment to grow at an exponential rate. This works for real estate, stocks, and many other asset classes. Just don't invest in something that pays 0% interest because that will make no sense. But as long as you can stick to a good plan, time should do all of the heavy lifting for you. But do you know what's even better than compound interest? Double compound interest. It's when you take ordinary compound interest and double its impact so you can build wealth even faster. This is what rich people do all the time, and I'm going to share this strategy with you today. In order to do this, you start by taking on an investment loan. Now you can buy the asset that you are going to get anyway, but you can buy more of it with the help of other people's money. And as you pay down the debt, the balance you owe will decrease faster and faster, generating wealth through debt reduction. To understand how this works, let's take a look at an example. Let's say you buy a $500,000 house with a $100,000 down payment, and you borrow the rest. In this case, the investment loan is a mortgage. Take a look at what happens to the $400,000 mortgage over the next 30 years as it's slowly paid off. As the mortgage balance shrinks each year, less interest is charged and more of the mortgage payments go towards the principal. So as you can see, the blue line's trajectory isn't linear, it's actually curved. Well, doesn't this look familiar? If we flip it upside down, we can see it's basically the inverse of a compound interest graph. Your net worth equals your assets minus liabilities. So if you don't have any liabilities, then you can only count on your assets to grow, which is how conventional compound interest works. Whatever assets you have is your total net worth. But why not take advantage of the liabilities part of the equation? If you take on debt from the start and pay that down over time, the rate of your debt decreasing will speed up exponentially and that will help accelerate the growth of your net worth. Lower liabilities, higher net worth. So not only do you have appreciating assets, but you also have depreciating debts. This should roughly double the effects of compound interest over time. This is one of the fastest ways to generate long-term financial stability. You're taking the compound growth of investments and the accelerating depreciation of debt and fusing them together to unleash a double compound interest effect. This is why people who own their own homes tend to be more financially stable. Real estate, like other hard assets, performs better than inflation over time. Not only do homeowners have the benefit of an appreciating asset, but most also have the added tailwind of a decreasing liability to supercharge their growing net worth. The longer someone owns their home, the more impact the double compound interest will have on their bottom line. It's the same for small business owners. Like if you want to open up a butcher shop, instead of saving up enough money on your own, it's probably better to just get a business loan. The sooner you become a stakeholder, the sooner you can start making money. And finally, double compound interest is super effective when investing in the stock market. There's a strategy called life cycle investing. It's when you front load your investment risk early on in your life. There's a study that shows that buying stocks with leverage can actually reduce your retirement risk. For example, if you're 25 years old and have $5,000 to invest, you should actually consider borrowing another $5,000 and put the entire $10,000 in a stock market index fund. Then do the same thing for the next 15 years before slowly deleveraging starting in your 40s. Following that strategy will, on average, leave you with 90% more money when you turn 65 than conventional investment strategies, and it'll give you enough to comfortably finance your retirement until you're 112. So borrowing money to buy stocks in your 20s and 30s should give you nearly twice as much money by the time you retire as a mainstream investor who doesn't use any debt. According to the Yale University professors who conducted this study, the worst case scenario is that you still retire with 30% more than a conventional investor. And they looked at data all the way back to 1871, so it's a pretty comprehensive study. Albert Einstein once said that the strongest force in the universe is compound interest. Those who understand it earn it, and those who don't pay it. Taking the strongest force in the universe and doubling that, what's not to like? Well, keep in mind that using any strategy where you borrow money does involve risk. So make sure you have a solid plan and understand the possible consequences before considering putting money in harm's way. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. And remember that an investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Anyway, have fun investing. And until next time.